Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your work and money read. Uh, this is going to be an urgent message that's coming out uh, and uh, it's going to take you uh, all the way for the next three months or so. Some of you, um, I, I, I kind of see this as being timeless, but I'll put it for the, the at least the next three months. All right. All right. So we're going to take a look at uh, what is most urgent in terms of your career and your money and what are the things that you need to pay attention to and uh, uh, what is, uh, you know, what you need to focus in on, what's going to be your strengths and things like that. So it'll be too uh, quick, a little spread. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, do check out, uh, your, uh, um, uh, your North node as well as your sun, moon and rising signs. All right. So that might, uh, might, uh, resonate with that. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, let's find out, I'm going to pull three cards first, uh, and let's take a look at what your uh, money mindset is. Uh, and see what wants to come out for you uh, that's urgent and that's hot right now regarding your career and money right now. All about your finances, okay? So your money mindset and your finances, uh, who can help you in your finances, and then what to focus in on. What's at the bottom of the deck? Whoa, okay, you guys. So you know what? Well, the interesting thing is, is I got the uh, tower card. Now, the interesting thing is that like something came down that maybe perhaps... Uh, was uh, perhaps an unexpected situation or a surprise. So for some of you, this could have been the case. I do believe that it's something pretty powerful, um, meaning that it led you to something powerful is what I'm thinking of. Because what I get here right after that is I get the king of wands, right? This has you looking out all amongst everything. This is like being a visionary entrepreneur. So in terms of your money mindset, this is saying you're using your creativity to be at large and in charge this is the back like of his chair and he's looking out and manifesting the creative desires uh, that uh, they want and so I kind of feel that this is your energy that you're taking on this is the king of of, uh, of wands now I feel that you might be uh, in some a little bit more masculine energy in moving forward and being uh, at large and in charge of your creativity and how that is going to equate to monetary uh, uh, you know uh, gain for you right so he's looking out at the stars. There's a lot of growth around them, a lot of green, which tells me there's a lot of opportunity that's coming to bloom. Um, and then, uh, but that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, anything else that might want to come through for you that uh, is important? Oh, yeah. You know what we get? Uh, we get the Hierophant energy. Whoa. This is Taurus energy coming through. And it's still, we got the back of the throne, right? So it's like saying my world is now open. I see a vision of which I want to move forward in. It's almost like my world is bigger now and I can actually visualize what it is that I want, right? So it's bringing it to fruition during the day, right? So manifesting at night, bringing it into fruition. There's a, a little a child here that has a key, right? A key to the situation. So there could be um, a child uh, that is, uh, you know, a younger person that is the key, or perhaps that um, you have learned the key to bring forth fruitfulness in your life. Um, this is about bringing peace into your world. The Hierophant is actually getting advice from someone. So perhaps that you're seeking advice in terms of your finances. Uh, and this is, could be, that could be the case, um, and how you want to plan and manifest. So it's just about your money mindset. You're manifesting and you're, you're actually combining that with the, uh, you know, with the, uh, you know, what's going to bring peace to your world. So this is what I'm going to create. What is going to bring balance and what is in alignment with my values and beliefs. Uh, and that's what I have you moving towards, like manifesting what it is you want that's in alignment with your values and beliefs. And this is going to be your money mindset, but it is manifesting and bringing it to fruition. So a lot of you could be manifesting at night, uh, something of the sort, but let's take a look at uh, what numerology has to say coming through. It's a five card. Fives are about... Uh, you know, it is about some sort of adversity, but it's fifth house. It might have to do with romance and children. You know, that could be the case too. Uh, some of you, uh, yeah, that could be the case. Interesting. Okay. It also indicates marriage too. So that could be that, that could be coming through that how oh, affects finances. Yeah. It's a time out, time out. The manifestation part of it, maybe perhaps there is some sort of short time out at this moment for you to reflect and get the confidence that you need to move forward. Uh, what I do know is this this reduces to a 10 and it's an ending with a brand new beginning. So I think with this uh, tarot card at the bottom of the deck, meaning that underlying energy, you're taking that tectonic breath before you move forward, right? And before you start, you know, uh, uh, you know you're getting your bearings straight and then thinking, okay, what is it that I want? 
Who do I want to be? How do I want my world to be? And how can I make that happen? So you're getting in that really good mindset. But I do get a visionary, someone that is, has their own business or someone is a leader in their business, an entrepreneur. Um, now, this next card that I get is who can help. And what I'm getting here is the two of wands. Okay. So is that, yeah, the two of wands. Okay. So this, you know what this is about? This is making progress. So there could be someone around you. Uh, this is you making progress, uh, you know, in terms of helping. So maybe getting someone that can help you make progress here uh could be uh, an older gentleman that could help you in this process uh but that's what i'm getting could be a fire sign uh could have leo in their chart as well but this person uh kind of knows their ropes they have a lot of strength and they know how to create vision and and create a rock solid foundation so this could be a financial advisor. Uh, this could be someone that is very passionate on what they do and very strong in their position, could be a leader in their field. And this could be someone that is, uh, uh, you know, showing you, the, you know, how to make progress and discover different ways of looking at the world in order to uh, create the monetary and the finances that you want to see come into your life or bring forward in. Now, this could be a new job. It just doesn't have to be money. It could be whatever brings success to you or uh, brings uh, forth, you know, happiness to you or opportunity for you. Uh, anything else that wants to come through? What do we get? Ah, we got the, yeah, in, in times of adversity, yeah, because this is a bit, it could be that you are going head to head and you're, you're, you're having some sort of adversity in a situation. This is the five of uh, wands, and this is all about some sort of disagreement and strife. Uh, so this could be you're having a disagreement or, or strife and making progress in what you do, whether it's your business or in work. So this is about seeking the help and doing that. So let's ask the numerology and let's take a look what uh, that has to say in terms of who can help you, all right? What do we get? Leadership. It could be someone in leadership or it is asking you to step up and be a leader in what you do. Grounding yourself and then all the emotions of the body. Um, it's an 81 card reducing to a nine. A lot of you are already, it's coming to fruition that you're stepping up as a leader. See, no longer are you um, to be a follower. You're asked to be the leader and to step in and show others. Uh, you have those leadership abilities and this is saying it's time to step up. So in what you do, this is what is going to bring forth. Uh, that was, was what can help you, okay? What is it that you need to focus in on? You need to focus in on your strength. Whoa. This is Leo energy, all this fire energy coming through for you. Uh, it's uh, just as beautiful. You know what I love? This is interesting. Now, you see that there is a woman that is uh, next to a lion and they're in front of like the devil or whatever. They're not even afraid, right? They are balanced. You see the infinity symbol overhead. They're in complete balance. In other words, overcoming fear, okay? So what to focus in on is your strength, right? Leo energy, your courage, uh, and to be able uh, not to flinch and to uh, step into what that is that fears you. Uh, and that on the other side of fear is always uh, your dreams, your success, you know, uh, achievement. So this is what this is asking for you to do because this, uh, you know, they're, they're not flinching. I mean, they're not afraid. They're not running. They're, they're in a relaxed positioning. And so I feel that there is about bringing balance. You're balancing out the fear of the past of something. Okay. What do we get? Yeah, moderation, you know, and that's what that infinity symbol is above our head. It's moderation, balancing on both sides. So, you know, moderation, you know, in matters of, of balancing things out, especially in times of adversity is what this is saying. Because it's a 15, it's a, it's a five card, 14 reduces to a five. Um, anything else uh, in terms of what to focus in on? Huh? New beginning. You could be getting a message coming through. There's a page coming through, a page of pentacles. So it could be a message coming through of a brand new opportunity. Now, some of you might be starting new in a brand new opportunity. And this is whatever it is that you are manifesting over here <laughs> in the day and in the night, right? Uh, well, I should say, because this was this way when it came out. And so in the day and the night is actually uh, going to be coming to fruition, okay? This is new uh, enterprise. This is uh, manifestations coming true. And there's gonna be a message coming through about this, okay? So some sort of message coming through. It's a page, so it could be a student, someone younger, whatever the case may be, but you've got something that is is uh, actually coming through, yeah. And this is saying take good care of your health. Whatever it is that you're doing in moderation, take good care of your health. Reducing again to an eight. 
you want you to balance your health out too, okay? So balance your health out with this brand new opportunity coming through. And uh, anything that uh, is, uh, that the, uh, I want to pull the moon cards like I did with the others. Let me see if I can find them. Do I have them here? Here they are. Okay, let me pull them here. Uh, let me grab them and see what might want to come through for you. Any other advice uh, before we jump into the next spread real quick? Let's take a look. What do we get? What do we get? I enjoy serendipity of life. The unexpected can be wonderful. And I think that the unexpected coming through is this opportunity of this uh, page of pentacles because this is manifestation and new enterprise. And this is what you need to focus in on, says the universe. So this is what's coming through. We're going to put this aside. Let's go ahead and jump into the other uh, spread here. And this is going to be your financial challenge, your financial strength. Okay, that went with there. Your financial challenge and your financial... Did, did that go in there? Yeah. Uh, your financial challenge <laughs> and your uh, financial strength and uh, uh, where you um, will get the greatest abundance, where you'll find the greatest abundance. Okay, so let's take a look for you. What do we get? Financial challenge. What do we get? All right. And financial strength. Yes. Awesome. And uh, what, what's going to guide you to your abundance? Ooh, gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. What's at the bottom of the deck? What do we have? Oh, the Ten of Cups. Wow, look at this, emotional fulfillment. Uh, ten of Cups, emotional satisfaction, uh, body, mind, and soul. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful. You've actually come right out of it. It's like you've transformed, totally transformed. All those cups that are at the bottom. Oh, this is so beautiful. And there's a beautiful woman at the top. It's you, it's blooming, overflowing in love. You know, this is really beautiful. You know, here's the thing. So what I get in terms of uh, your financial challenge is I get the four of pentacles. This is about your stability and security. So maybe that you're finding it a challenge to get stability and security. Okay. In this process. All right. Um, what's going to help you in this? What do we get? Uh, seven of wands. You know what? The seven of wands talks about an opportunity for uh, maybe there's a lot of competition and you're having to persevere and move forward. This is saying don't give up. Continue to persevere in terms of your any sort of financial challenges. Uh, have faith. It's a seven card. Have faith. All right. Uh, and focus on your stability and know that it's coming for you. Yeah. Focus on your personal growth. Have faith. Uh, you know, both of these are seven cards. Have faith in your personal growth that you can make it happen. Right. And you can increase your finances. So your challenge is having the faith admits, uh, uh, you know, the, the, you're having security and stability. All right. So this is what is coming through here. All right. So biggest thing that you need to remember here is what? Inner peace. Keep the inner peace because when you get off vibration, it mucks up uh, that opportunity is coming towards you. So keep the faith, right? George Michael, keep the faith, <laughs> right? So this is, you know, inner peace is going to be key. Do some yoga, do whatever you need to do, but keep the faith. And if you go astray, turn it right back around and keep it, uh, keep it in alignment, right? You know, keep it right back because your, your, your mental and spiritual practices will help you. And I'll help you overcome ancient trauma of the past regarding any sort of stability or security. Okay. So note your comments below, guys. Let me know if this resonates and smash that like button too. <laughs> okay. Uh, it helps the algorithm and definitely helps others uh, see this who uh, might need to hear this message. All right. Uh, the next card that I get in terms of your financial strength is your clarity. So this clarity, when you get inner peace, you have all, you can think clearly, right? So in terms of reasoning and of the mind, you get some sort of victory. You're crowned with victory, right? So this is about catching that and being able to uh, take this uh, uh, take this sword and be able to move forward, right? So power, victory, and clarity. There's a potential for this to come through. Uh, what is going to help you in this process? It's a one card. So it really has you starting anew. Your financial strength is the clarity that you have right now. Use your uniqueness because individuality comes through, okay? And especially if you communicate, guys, because this is a two, you know, one, two, three, these are all ones. And three ones, uh, you know, what I feel is bring is, a, is about communication. Now, I know this is a master number and it's not broken down. But in any event, you're getting, you know, one, two, three, you know, all these lines coming through because this is a one card. So um, if you can see that, yeah, it's right at the corner there. It's a one card. So it's like three, which tells me it's about communication and you're in, in, in having unique communication or using your individuality and uh, keep that uniqueness about you. 
because your, your uniqueness is what sets you apart from others. And that is what's going to be key, especially in your creative endeavors uh, of any sort. Uh, so uh, in terms of your speaking, um, very it's going to be very, very big as well. Okay. And last but not least, I do want to move over into what it is that um, you're going to find the greatest abundance. And this is about creating happy home and harmony. So this could be partnering up with someone. Okay. This could be someone that around you. Uh, romantic or not, this could be someone that you're working with for a wreath of success to gain the stability that you're looking for. So the four of wands, four of wands does talk about that. It does talk about stability and insecurity and well, stability. Um, it's, it's, uh, the four is about stability, right? And then the wands are all about, uh, you know, uh, uh, an opportunity for um, harmony, uh, creating a nice home. It could even indicate marriage for some of you, okay? And marriage might lead to greater uh, finances and greater abundance when, you know, sometimes two incomes is better than one, right? But it just depends, right? <laughs> right? Uh, let's take a look what we get. Yeah, it wants you to follow your dreams. It, and this is following the position where you're going to find the greatest abundance. Uh, follow your dreams, Follow your dreams, guys. Do not give up. Whatever this is that, you know, creative endeavors are heightened right now. And, and it's a huge need out in this world. And so this is really coming into play and they're being rewarded. So follow your dreams on here. It reduces. Yeah, you know what? This is 85 reduces to a 13. 13, 13 reduces to a 4. There's your stability. There's your stability in following your dreams. So this is what I'm getting. Uh, and any other uh, final advice that might want to come through, I'm going to pull from a, a fortune card. Let's take a look at what seems to want to come through. What do we get? Sunshine. Oh my gosh. The sun is shining on your career and business growth. Fabulous communication in relationships. Doesn't that last card say it all? This really encompasses exactly what this is, guys. What a great read for you here. Keep this in mind, guys. All right. Keep this in mind for the next three months. All right. If you need to come back and revisit it, you know, just be reminded. But this is really urgent that wanted to come through. So there you have it. All right. All right, guys. Note your comments. Sending you lots of love and light. And until next time, namaste.